Hello everyone, this is Mora, the Les Black Unicorn from CoinInfo News, and today we are here with two special guests, David, the founder and CEO of One Ledger, and Paul, the senior blockchain engineer. David, how did you have the idea to start One Ledger? Okay, thank you. And uh, I'm the CEO and founder of the One Ledger, and beside me is the senior engineering Paul from our team. And uh, the idea is uh, for one ledger, I want to talk about about my background. So I was working the IBM over ten years for the enterprise solution. I work on the multiple the big project and the budget scale from the ten million to twenty million. And uh, in about two three years ago, I get into the blockchain area. I start to like this new technology. I think it's kind of the future of the internet. I work on some of the uh, Ethereum project, and also work on some of the Hyperledger project. So after I work on this few project, uh, I find that there is some of the big challenges right now in blockchain area. So the first of all is uh, know the interoperability between the blockchain. So each of the blockchain is like the isolated uh, island, and then no way to communication between them. So, and the other challenge is, uh, is no, no good platform to support the public transaction and the private transaction. And uh, in this way, it's uh, no the real the business usage and enterprise that can launch the real the application on the blockchain. To solve these issues, and uh, I come out the idea of the one ledger. I understand. So you found the issue and you came with the solution. This is really smart. How about the ICO? How it is going so far? So uh, our ICO is uh, going pretty, pretty well, and we already finished our the seed round and the private sales and also pre-sale. So right now we are going to have the, the our public sale, and our public sale will be in the mid of June. Oh, that's great! Good luck with that. So uh, let's help our viewers understand better what exactly is One Ledger and what makes it different from other projects. So yeah, so for one ledger, I give some of the, the high level the description for a project. Then I leave the time to a Paul to make more the detailed the explanation. So the, the basically for the one ledger, we like as I said, we try to solve the challenge in the blockchain industry. And the, first of all, you we try to solve the interoperability, which is through the one ledger, we try to make some of the off-chain solution. And uh, all the public chain, they can make their the digital asset off chain and into the one ledger. And uh, through one ledger, we support this uh, cross chain transaction and uh, the exchange with the performance and uh, also the scalability. And uh, meanwhile, is, uh, on the one ledger, we also try to bridge uh, the, the public transaction and the private transaction. And uh, we have the three layer of the consensus, the raw consensus and uh, also the side chain consensus and also the, the public, public, public chain consensus. With this uh, three layer consensus and uh, the, each of the enterprises that can design their own the, the blockchain network inside of one ledger to support the private transaction with high performance. And they can also go to the transaction between the enterprise. And uh, in, in order to have the larger of the consensus, they can also reach the public transaction. To map to the currently world, you can think about uh, these three different categories. It's like the, 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 the private transaction inside of the enterprise and the B2B transaction between the enterprise and also the public transaction like the currently B2C transaction. And in this way, we support the real the business usage and the enterprise to launch their the blockchain application on one ledger. And uh, for this kind of three layer consensus, also our strength of the one ledger. And uh, I can let more, let that Paul could give you more details regarding our project. Yeah. It's, um, I think that what differentiates us from a lot of the other blockchains out there is that we're going to span between centralized systems and decentralized systems. And it's, um, it's that mechanics that, um, but in some ways, it makes it easier for us to put some, you know, standard enterprise algorithms back into play. But it also allows companies to get out to the chain safely to come back and act as a gateway between them. And um, 
we need uh, the centralized side as a as a, a platform to move forward and um, and talk to the other chains because everything has to be decentralized and, and the mechanics to interact. But then we can go back and, and just deal with a lot of some of the more core problems on the centralized side where we know that the solutions are actually easier to build and more reliable. So we get this really nice balance between the newer technologies and leveraging a lot of the older technologies. And we kind of feel that that's really going to be huge for enterprises because they can hook this up to their existing systems, they can move forward, um, and they can get out to all these new things. So they can come from inside and try to send transactions to uh, Bitcoin, for example, or to Ethereum and kind of interact with them and to monitor the other systems. On top of this, we're going to build, um, because a lot of the functionality they're going to want to do to sort of implement their businesses across is going to be similar from different companies. So we'll have a marketplace where they can have distributed apps that will encapsulate these functionalities for them. And then they'll be able to just kind of access them, deploy it, um, be able to know that they're reliable solutions, not having to worry about it themselves. And we think that uh, one of the big problems that has slowed down blockchain adoption by companies is that they've been trying to bring these decentralized technologies in, they don't integrate very well. So if we kind of open up this gateway and we allow them to build this stuff reliably or at least access it reliably, um, it will make a huge difference in their ability to start using it really quickly. Oh, yes. Yeah. So just to add some of the comments on this part and to implement this and enterprise solution, and from our team, and we have the people from the enterprise level, like me, and I have the IBM enterprise solution experience, mm -hmm. and we also have team member from the Morgan Stanley, and also for Paul, and Paul is working on the the bank before for the, a lot of the enterprise solution, and also for the he also work on the tenement. Mm -hmm. to build up the core engine of the, the blockchain before. So I think from team and uh, we are strong and we are confident that we can deliver the, the, the real the enterprise solution to the blockchain area. This is really nice. Seriously, One Ledger truly is different from other projects. Paul, can you explain to our viewers in a simple way for them to understand, even if they don't have a technical background, how does the technology of One Ledger works? Um. At, at the lowest level, um, when we want to, when when you're say on the centralized side and you want to send a transaction out, um, we will use our blockchain mechanics to drive the other chains. So it's not so much that we have a transaction per se; it's that, that we are taking that, we're going out to Bitcoin, we're telling Bitcoin what to do. Um, so we're automating it from that sort of decentralized perspective. And I think that's the easiest way to see um, the the why we need to be a blockchain, but we're also a gateway at the same time. Yeah. So from us, we try to offer the general solution, which is uh, from the deep dimension. We allow them to create a side chain on the one ledger. Once the side chain being created, so the digital asset from the mansion they can map to the one ledger, and through one ledger they can implement the high performance of transaction to support it, support all yeah. the cross-chain transaction. And, and I think that that's important to bring out too, I was kind of skipping over it, that not only will companies want to get out to existing blockchains, but they might come to agreements with other companies that they want an internal blockchain between a small group of them. And we want to make that as close to just kind of a one-click button sort of, you know, you hit the button, you get a chain. And now you can start interacting with the other companies. They can subscribe, publish, and they can all play with it. And we're going back to a lot of the sort of existing paradigms that we know from normal enterprise software, like relational databases or pub subsystems, um, and trying to put those into the API and the SDK so that it's not, um, so it's very familiar for the people on the IT side in enterprises on how to interact with this stuff. Yet they're able to, you know, just launch off new chains whenever they want to. Yeah, we try to get off. The, we try to get rid of the barrier and the gap between the the traditional enterprise application and with the, the blockchain area. Yeah. So they can use the the SDK to build up the blockchain application and through the one ledger platform. What are the most important milestones of the project? 
Uh, so the, for the one milestone of the one ledger, and at the end of the June, we try to launch our the MVP, and uh, then we continue work on the test network. And uh, by the end of the 2018, and uh, we will launch the test net, and uh, we try to launch the formal network uh, is by the 2019. Mm -hmm. What can you tell us about the token? And uh, so for the token, and we have the, the we designed the go to the token economy and to support the one ledger ecosystem. So as Paul just discussed, uh, the one ledger we created the marketplace, and through the marketplace, and uh, the developer can you know can get build all the business module. It supports the business transaction. So after they build this module, and as long as it's being used by business, they can get rewards from the one ledger for the token. And also the, all this is the, the business transaction to generate a transaction on the one ledger and the, all the network, network maintainer and the node maintainer and node validator, they can also be benefit and get the OIT token for the transaction fee through the, uh, all the transaction on the one ledger level. Yeah. And uh, we also have the, the gold distribution for the token for the for token to the community. And uh, we we sell we sell the thirty five percent of the token, uh, to, for the total supply, and uh, we sell to the community for a crowd crowd sale, and we also have the twenty five percent of the community reserve, and in future it will be used for to it will be used to build up the one ledger e ecosystem, and also award the community to support the one ledger network. And in this way, the, we have the 35% plus 25% is like the, the totally 60% we are going to use for public and community. Then the rest of the portion of token will be, will be used for the, for the team member and for the market and also for the company reserve. Operating yeah. expenses. Yeah, operating yeah. expenses. Yeah. What can you tell us about the team behind the project? Um, yeah, so the team, as we just uh, discussed, uh, and uh, I believe uh, we have the strong team to, to support we launch this the enterprise uh, solution on the blockchain. And uh, we have the, the team member from the different the enterprise level and working on the different the enterprise industry, like the bank, like the financial company. We come from, from a wide range of experiences. Yeah, and, exactly. uh, and we have really strong advisors as well, right? But, yeah. um, but our team is kind of mixed in age, so we're spanning age spectrum, we're spanning background and experience. Um, we have young developers with lots of energy and older developers who have been around building products for a long, long time. And I think that that's really good to kind of leverage all these different experiences. And yeah, it, it exactly. fits well with what we're doing too, is, is we're trying to find this balance between centralized and decentralized. We're also trying to find a balance in the company itself between sort of new, you know, ways of building stuff and older, more established ways. I think for, um, in general, for the development side, we have a really strong focus on engineering. And we're really keen to make sure that, um, that we look at what's out there and we understand what's out there and that we build on it rather than just kind of like pack together some funny solutions or something. So we, we were trying to engineer um, technologies that are strong and reliable. And we understand that, you know, from the enterprise side, that that's what's going to make it really important to everybody. And yeah, yeah, we're having fun, you know, exploring a brand new space as well. Yeah, so the generally, so our team is, we have the, the balance between the enterprise and the blockchain professional. Mm -hmm. And we also have like the, the, the old guy and with much appearance yes. on the blockchain and on the enterprise. We also have the young guy and with energy, with the dedication to build our platform too. Okay. So basically you have a little bit of everything that you need for the project to be a huge success, right? Yeah. 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 And, and we're really into that kind of idea of finding balance. Um, to just kind of make sure that we're not too extreme on one side or the other. We just we want to build something that's really strong and it's going to be around for a long, long time. And it's really great. When can people expect uh, for the next phase of the token sale to begin? Um, I think we're in the process. We've just passed KYC and we're doing the, um, the ICO stuff now. 
And um, and I think that you know with the MVP and the test net, um, the investment, uh, the fundraising part of this is slowing down for quite a while. Um, and we're really going to focus on the um, the building and releasing the stuff. Yeah. So we we're we're kind of coming to the end of the fundraising part. That's really good. How about strategic partnerships that you are planning to close for the development of one ledger? Um, for strategic partner, we are continue to build the strategic partner team, and along through the whole project phase. So and the, before the public sale, and we build a strategic partner to support our the community and support the fundraising of the, the one ledger. So after the public sale, and we will continue to build up the strategic partner team to support our the eco build up our ecosystem to support build the developer community and to support the build the validator of the network and then the maintainer of the network. Mm -hmm. So the strategic partner will be go through the whole project phase of the one nature. Yeah, and we've been we've been out there talking to um, obviously for the, the fundraising for people interested in, in being part of the, the community there um, developers because they're going to become significantly more important with the um, the SDK the API but also the marketplace for mm -hmm. apps and enterprises. And so we've we've kind of been all over at conferences and out there talking and videos and, and as much as we can to as many people as we can to to just kind of connect with everybody. We um unlike some of the teams out there, it's in our best interest that all the chains do really well and all the coins do really well, um, and that the more of them there are, the better it is, right? So we um, we've we've affiliated ourselves with several other different projects. We're connected to them. I um, I know the guys from Tendermint, um, and we've been doing a lot of talking and chatting with them as well. So we're just trying to reach out to everybody possible and make you know and network with as many people and kind of form interactions wherever we can. Yeah. So also another folks area after public sale for uh, for a strategic partner is. Uh, since we offer the enterprise solution and we also try to focus on the enterprise level to build up the, the, the business alliance or the enterprise alliance to become the partner of each other to support the platform and support the ecosystem of the one ledger. Let's take a little look into the future. What are the future plans of one ledger? So one ledger, the future plan is uh, uh, it will be split into the two parts. So for one ledger, we are the public platform. And uh, on the bottom, and we try to use the public to maintain this whole network to support the transparency and to support the, the, the real business usage of the blockchain. And on the top level, we try to launch the, the business alliance to build up the ecosystem and to run in the, the business transaction. On, on the one ledger, so that, that's in future of the, the task of one ledger is uh, on the bottom we try to build the community to maintain this uh, the whole network and also man become the validator and the node maintainer. Then meanwhile we also try to build the the cooperation with the multiple the business usage to launch launch the real the, the enterprise level of the application on the one ledger. And from a technological level too we are leaving our design open so that we can sort of add different types of consensus in the future we can expand to different chains that's because we're acting as the gateway we have to be safely malleable if that's a good word for it right we want to be able to add new technologies as they come out new methods as they come out and and access new chains but we don't want to do so in a kind of risky way and that's a it's a strong attribute of our design to just keep looking at, at all the technologies, keep playing around, researching with the higher end algorithms. Um, and there's a lot of great unanswered questions or, or partially answered questions in the industry right now where people are kind of like, oh, this is the solution. And we, um, in our own benefit, do not want to zero in and say, this is the absolute solution. We just want to say, that's a solution. We can use it. We're going to integrate it. And here's another one. And we can add that one as well. So we've got lots of development work that would last us for as long as there are innovations coming out in the blockchain industry. Yeah. So generally, the, we try to offer the SDK and the API. 
and so that the community can use and can extend to build more and more the application and the being usage on the one ledger. So we are like the uh, marketplace, and we support the two people to build their own the, the private chain and the public chain inside one ledger to build their own the enterprise application on one ledger. And from us, from us, we try to offer the gateway and try to offer the protocol to support all this communication and through the different the consensus layer to make them more convenient and more efficient to running the transaction on the blockchain. I think this is also the target of the one ledger to try to build out. This is really nice and this is a really strong project from what you've told me. Thank you, David. Thank you, Paul. Everyone, this was all for today about One Ledger, and you can find out more on their website, and the link is in the description of this video. Thanks for watching, and see you again in the next video. Okay, thank okay. you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.